<laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are in full drag week prep right now. Uh, it is Sunday the 5th. We are leaving Friday the 10th, 7 a.m. ish, to drive out to Michigan. So, it is now crunch time. Yesterday, we spent some time driving the car around, uh, getting the street tune more dialed in, and we were playing with fueling and timing to get the thing to run cooler, and it, it, it was running damn good yesterday. A couple of small things I did. Show you guys here. I've been talking to Devin, and I, I was very, very... Get out of the way. Get out of the way. I was going to cut open the bumper. I got a, a trim ring for more race chassis that fits this, and I was going to cut it open, and I was, man, I was really hesitant. I didn't want to do it. Uh, I've been added more timing. We're only like 38 degrees of timing now, cruising below 2,500, and I just cut the hood back away from the windshield as well. He said he saw marked improvement. And I cut it back far enough to fit a wiper in there. Yeah. Look at that, huh? Oh, we don't have no power. So, that and that and that, that should all help. So this is minus, I'm changing the passenger seat out because Davy Boy was not comfortable in that one. So he took the driver's seat out of his Mustang and we're gonna stick it in there so he can be more comfortable. But let me show you this interior lighting I added. So, oof. How nice is that, huh? Right. I got these LED strips up here. Amazon, like 30 bucks. It's a truck bed kit. Comes with three of them, and I just cut them down and heat shrink the ends and then wired them into my panel and everything. That's the updates on the car. She is ready to rock. Re-registered it. Just printed out the insurance cards because I didn't have an up-to-date insurance card in it. They give you a whole thing. So they give you like a whole thing to fill out. Car information. Oh crap. That's my hotel info. Car information. You don't see that because my address and phone number and everything's on there. You don't need to see that. And then they have a tech sheet here as well. You got to fill out. And then they have a checklist. Here's your checklist. Pretty basic. Valid driver's license will be racing the vehicle, which I got both that and the NHRA one. Current vehicle registration and license plate. Got it. Proof of insurance. Year, make, and model, and VIN. Valid competition license. Working headlights, taillights, brake lights, turn signal, horn, and tech sheet. I went one step further. Got my neutral safety switch working back up again. Just because my local track said something about it in, the, in tech. Which is, is stupid. But, you know, I put my car in park. It's, you know, it is what it is. All right. So, before I, when I pack up Thursday, I'm going to go over that whole checklist and make sure we have everything. Make sure everything's good. I checked all the lights yesterday. Uh, I will double check. Sorry, Thursday when I plug, when I go to load this all in the trailer, I'm going to plug the car into this and make sure all these lights work. They did last week. But what we're doing is we're getting everything situated, we're getting everything packed away. So I will go over a lot of this. What I'm going to do is I'm also going to show... Uh, the trailer's pretty much mostly completed. Alright. I finished the wiring for the Milwaukee. Oh, I put a, just a, a basic switch up there. The battery... I had to leave it in, and she's good to go. So, lights work beautiful. They last a pretty good long time. I quickly used the remainder piece of this oil rack, and I literally just duct taped the ends with some Gorilla Tape so the stuff doesn't fly out just to hold 
my power probe. This is by far my fa most favorite diagnostic electrical tool, period. And some shop pals. But up here I got, you know, I got everything situated. Remember I put the wood in, I screwed the wood in, I didn't go all the way up, I don't feel a need in, this gives me opportunity to build the shelf. Now it's all wooded, I mounted the Milwaukee pack plate in there. Fender, still waiting on stickers. Um, one problem I am having is, I think I'm going to cut down this adapter. I'm going to take an inch off of it and move the hole up an inch so this comes in. Right now, this is under my parachute. So I'd like to get it just in front of the parachute so it's easier to come off. Because right now, as you see, I pull this all out. But yeah, it was spare mounted underneath. My brother's sticker. The only thing I got to do is I got to paint the top. I got to seal this edge still, which I'm probably going to do tomorrow. And undercoat the top here. But she's all good. She works out well. You know, I built the thing for the handle so it's tight you know let's go over what i'm bringing everybody's different and that's fine oh everybody's gonna be different on what they bring relative to their car what their skills are who they know if you know everybody and your mother and own a freaking parts store you can, it'll be a lot easier for you to do stuff. So this is, where, where am I gonna even start? I'm bringing some stuff that I, there's a good chance I might not use. I really don't care if I do or not, I, but I'll have it. So I went and picked up a cheapo Walmart pop tent, 10 by 10. It's really light. I, I really wanted just a really cheap one. This thing was like 60 bucks and I and I wanted a cheap one because it's small and it's light. That's why I wanted. I have a big expensive easy up one that's in the big trailer and the thing is massive and it's heavy as hell. I got that. I got the camp chairs, two camp chairs, one for me, one for Dave. You never know. What I got in here is I got four jugs of fuel. Four. One is full with ethanol right now. Three are empty. I really don't need... There's fuel out there. So I don't need to bring fuel with me. I don't think I need to add the extra, you know, almost 200 pounds of fuel for no reason. I'll get fuel out there. So I got a normal funnel and a smaller funnel, which I got to clean that out that's pretty gnarly in there four jugs I got a set of aluminum three ton jack stands I got an empty two and a half gallon bucket of for waste oil brand new moving blanket to lay on in case I can work under the car I have four of these it's it's the oil I use. It's it's Shell Rotella 1540 T4. And I have um, eight quarts. It's like almost 10. This is hydraulic fluid AW32 mixed with two quarts of Type F. This is what I use in my transmission now. And it runs cooler. Hopefully I don't have to change out the transmission fluid. But if I do... I have it. My goal is to not have to buy uh, anything besides fuel and food and, you know, and, you know, uh, touristy stuff. I don't want to have to buy oil. I don't have to buy brake cleaner. I don't want brake fluid. But I, you know, I don't want to buy that. I, ha I own it all. I own probably three or four of it. I built this trailer for that reason so I could bring this stuff with me. So, two oil changes. One transmission fluid change, a thing for waste oil. I have three oil filters up here. I use a Wix uh, oil filter. So I got three of those up here. Three cans brake clean, glass clean, brake fluid, a little thing of PB blaster, thread locker, dielectric grease, copper spray, a whole array of flashlights. Um, I hate, 
hate not having light. So I got all sorts of different flashlights tucked away in here, all fully charged. This is my favorite, my Streamlight headlamp, because this thing is bright. And it just helps so much. Oh yeah, you know, I just uh, wanna have light. Fingers crossed that I don't have to do anything at night. And another light in here, which is a really nice light as well. That's a Mac one. I pray I don't have to do anything at night. That's the goal. The only thing I, I pray to use out of here are tires, floor jack, tire changing tools, fuel, and oil. I'm probably gonna change the oil one time midweek. But what I decided to do is I got this idea from Doug and I kind of ran with it a little bit further, but um, started using these Milwaukee Packout system. The Milwaukee Packout system is more expensive. It is pretty expensive. Um, I bought this one used online and the rest I bought new. This one was on Facebook Marketplace. I met up a guy for $20. But it is a really nice system to use. There's a mounting plate that I have screwed down to the floor. And this is my toolbox. I don't have any tools in it yet because I'm still using them. I part started to put some stuff in here like I got, I went on and bought cheap. Um, building three, four sets of tools is very expensive. So this is getting like cheap, cheap stuff. Um, Amazon Basics Allen Keys. I got an M6 one. M6 by one Healy coil kit. This is um, valve spring compressor tool, spark plug gaffer, flashlight. This is a wire terminal tool kit. I use the, I got these Magpul bags, which are really cool. These things are super nice and they're heavy duty. They're again, a little pricey than this bag was like 20 bucks. I didn't know what to do with it, but it, it actually worked out really well because it has all my wiring tools in there. Everything I need to do to fix any wiring on this car. You know, I'm going to throw socket sets in there, wrenches, screwdrivers, pliers, uh, a couple battery guns, stuff like that. Just, I'm not bringing my whole toolbox, but just enough to change. Um, I'm probably going to throw my three inch torque wrench in here. Uh, maybe I'll just throw my half inch here, just in case I got to change a head gasket. I do have spare head gaskets up here and an exhaust manifold gasket just in case something happens and a head's got to come off i gotta change a lifter head gasket went because that's stuff i am willing to do in the hotel parking lot something happens in the bottom end i'm done i'm not taking that that's too far for me toolbox obviously not completely full of tools and it's got a little handle on it my handle in the front as well, and that's locked in. Now I ain't going nowhere in this trailer. All right, how sweet is that? This one, I have like a bunch of miscellaneous crap in it. It's nice because it's got like all these separate little compartments, closed cases. So this one I have all like odds and ends and fittings. Whatever I had, I just threw in here. Yep. What's up? Chilling, chilling, making packing videos. <laughs> Random nuts, bolts, Zeus fasteners, eighth inch tabs, razor blades, little nuts, whole bunch of crap, couple spare lug nuts. Did you see the wiper? Teflon tape, Honda Bond, radiator leak, more thread locker, copper paste, ARP lube, 1350 joints with that. Pads, rivets, JB Weld, Gorilla Tape, spare O-rings and turbo gaskets, uh, more spare rivets, set of spare spark plugs, garbage bags, zip ties. I mean, just literally a bunch of randomness in this thing. But, uh, yeah, it's, 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 I mean, these pack outs are amazing. Like I said, they're expensive. I think this one's like 80 bucks. But... There you go, you got it all in there. And this is the crate. The only thing I don't like about the crate is there's not a lid. They don't have like a lid. There's a company that makes a lid that clicks into this thing that you can buy, but Milwaukee does not make one. So I got some fender covers and entire thing of O-rings. 
spare coils that Dave brought because I couldn't. Some nobody could have. Oh, that one's bad. Oh, that one's broken. Nope, didn't break it. Mm -hmm. Whole set of spare coils. Spare, oh, spare wire. Drive belt, bungee cords, rear diff fluid. I even have a spare alternator in here. So it's the alternator I had in the car before the Power Master, just in case. But yeah, that's all in there. And guess what? What do we do? Click it. Space saving. I got one last one that I put on the top of that because now this is acting as a lid. Enough valve springs, springs, retainers, push rods, rocker bolts, and rockers to do one cylinder head. I didn't, I took the shaft mounts off because I couldn't get the push rod tool in and get the right push rods in, so it's got stock rockers on it. I got Dave's spare NTK wideband sensor because they're expensive as shit and I never got to it and they were on back order. Mac valve. Cam, crank, air, coolant, TPS, pressure, map sensors, all spares in there. And that's like everything packed in there. Look at that. How can you beat that? Done some pretty good stuff. That is so much stuff in that one tiny little area. Instead of having what I was originally going to have, like three and four of the Tupperware, you know, that whole stack of containers was originally what all this stuff was in. Consolidated down to that. I want to get one more of that small thin one. I'm even thinking they, they sell like half size for this, which is just all electrical fuses and relays and Deutsch connectors and Holly pins and pressure transducer connectors and all that crap. So I'd like to get the little half one, but I am plumb out of money for this crap. So the other half of it like lock in there. I've also decided to ditch the generator idea. I was going to bring a little 2,000 water with me, and I went with a big-ass inverter, 1,200 watt, that I still have to finish wiring. I'm going to put a plug off the battery below the car where I can just click this in for like, like a winch cable plug. Yeah, that's going to be nice. Just Mainly to charge the laptop and the GoPro batteries. And if I need electric tools, I can recharge them, which I think the wheel, I have a old Mako half inch gun I use for wheel changeovers and this battery don't really last all that long anymore. This is my wheel service bag. I wanted a separate bag just to change the wheels out. So it's got, you know, 19 and 24, which is rear wheel, front wheel and trailer wheel. And it's got the spacers for the drag wheels. So that'll be in the back of the trailer. Oh, there's a little 1.5 ton aluminum. Fucking steel here. What are you doing? What are you doing? You don't know. But it worked out kind of well. I still gotta make like a home for this. But this... fit right in there uh, like I almost made that be I got this spare front tire for the car because we can't even get these anymore I've had a couple people message me and I went looking and can't even get it throw it back there oh and I got all this crap up here but this will be in the car the cooler, a chair for Dave, so he doesn't get the fancy one. Drain pan, jumper pack, just in case I got a big no-co. I love this thing. This is the 7500 GB70. I bought a spare CO2 bottle because I've seen people have issues, gets hot or whatever, and blows this burst disc. I want to switch to onboard air for that reason, but some old pig mats. I love how everything was nice and organized, and then now it's just 
It's all, it's still all organized. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. We just throw the bottle in the back there. No, there's a space for Slam it. Slam the tire on top of stuff. That's just thrown in. <laughs> I've been meaning to put like a. I want to get. I want to go to Home Depot and get like a J hook. Yeah. To hang it. That'd actually be perfect, but it, it ain't gonna go anywhere. Where's, <sighs> where's it gonna go? Yeah. This right here is a detailing bag because I can't have no fucking dirty car. Uh, I got a bunch of microfibers, stuff for the polishing glass cleaner, wheel cleaner, which apparently, I was reading this, you can use it on any finished wheels. There's no acid in it. I read it like four times. Quick detailer, and I'm going to try this. Ceramic Armor All Extreme Shield Ceramic Glass Treatment Water Repellent. We'll give that a try too. Just so I keep the car clean. Yeah. I freaking go pull up to like one of those do-yourself car washers. I just hose the wheels down with this, blast it off, and call it a day. This is true. I'm like, because all the other cleaners I got, you can't use unpolished. Boy. The only place I haven't figured out is where to put these head gaskets so they don't get damaged. Maybe behind, you know what? You know what I'll do? Get a piece of cardboard. I'll fold it around it and just stick them behind the fuel jugs. Yeah, I was gonna say something like that. Or how tall is that set that wood? Can we it's too just... tall? I already uh... tried that. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I thought the same thing. I'm like what that would have been perfect. What about just sliding back here? And behind this stuff. Plan for a power outage. No, uh, wheel and tire bag. Sit right on the end. That's not, you know, big or heavy. No. Oh, is that where the jack goes? I'm hoping. <laughs> Slight miscalculation. I was hoping for it, but I don't think it's going to happen there. It was so close. What if you stand it up? Like put it on side. All right through the door. Hmm. All right. Ta-da! <laughs> if I want a shelf. Yeah, a little shelf would have been nice. Yeah. Oh no. I done fucked up. I put that shelf on without the tires in. Hmm. Alright, well, <laughs> that didn't work. I had to take that completely off. Scratch that idea. And that just got hummed into the back. Or now, I take this out. Still waiting on a plug that will come in tomorrow. With the pack out and everything, it's a little heavy in that spot. But the fuel jugs are empty right now, so that I feel like that would even it out once they're full. Everything's in there. I've stuffed this thing. <laughs> well, everything's in there. It's good to go. Um, I'm about to load it in the trailer. Maybe. I'm gonna try. Well, you can see everything in there. I also just finished, I sealed the edges with silicone, undercoated it really quickly. I told you I was gonna put a drip edge on it over the door. See that? And I also finished up the uh, seal. I put a little foam on it, made the door a little tight. Oh, it's tight, tight, but give it a little slam and it's good to go. I still haven't finished trimming out the door, obviously. All right, I push this outside because I got to play swap a -roo with everything right now. All right, so somehow we have to fit this one in that one. Yo, dog, I heard you like trailers, so we put trailers inside your trailers and then fit that in behind it. If I measured everything correctly, I should have about yay much. So we'll see. But I think that was measured with the parachute. Keep going. 
All right, well, I got it in and I got it sideways, but nowhere near my target. I need to come up about, you know, yay feet. <laughs> But it fits sideways in there. Can you feel our window? What the hell? Oh, it's dark. Can you see that? Can you see that? She's in there. It's uh, got about, you know, eight, ten inches of room, and this is pretty solid, and car solid, and we got. Uh, not a ton of room. Oh, hundred cord. You can see the chute mount, the chute cable sitting right. Sorry, sitting right on the door. I had to unpack the parachute, but it fits. If it fits, it ships. Not bad for a uh, twenty-four foot trailer. So we will have to stop a little bit more often and, and check all the straps, make sure nothing comes loose because if this comes loose, it can get real ugly real fast. Um, I might put one more strap from this corner all the way up because if that strap comes loose, this thing will swing down that way. So I might just do one more. I'm gonna do that right now before I even forget. But we're in there. Um, I'm gonna get this video up before drag week commences. Um, yeah, guys, it time's here. This is what I've been waiting for for, oh God, three, four years now I've been preparing for this. All right, I'm getting my little strap out. My little strap out, you sick sons of bitches. Um, but yeah, it's, it's here. We're leaving. Uh, not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're leaving. So, uh, I got what I got, and if I forgot it, I forgot it. It is what it is. I think I'm pretty well prepared. It's in my nature, Boy Scout. We'll see. I'm praying I don't need any but fuel and tires out of this thing and, you know, my cooler, stuff like that. So yeah, I hope I threw that in the car. All right, guys, signing off. A little bit of bad news. <laughs> I was servicing the truck today and found that the, uh, the entire goddamn trailer hitch is rotted. Yeah. So I ordered, uh, I jumped on the phone with GM and factory one's cheaper than all aftermarket so i ordered that up it's supposed to be here thursday <clears throat> fingers crossed <coughs> the dealer doesn't mess up and you know the bolts break or causes any havoc and i get that in on thursday no well, guys wish me luck i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do any updating except for on my social medias i'll probably do all the drag week coverage on youtube after the event and we'll go from there have a good one guys